we were under no illusion how tough it is to come here in New Zealand. It wasn't until I uh, left New Zealand I realised that you know it's a t it's a tough place to go and tour and you know, the passion of the rugby and stuff. So we're we're really excited about being here. And in terms of uh, we had great experience last time we were here in 2011 with the World Cup, um, and um, really felt um, that New Zealand embraced us. Uh, it's nice to be back and. Um you know, a chance to see some familiar faces and catch up with a bit of family they haven't seen in a while. So, um, you know, I suppose it's going to be a little bit uh, extra special. And you know, if I'm lucky enough to get out there, you know, it's it's I suppose going to be a little bit of mixed emotions, but uh, one that I'm really excited about. The world well, certainly hasn't been in New Zealand since uh, 1953. So, is this the best chance, you know, in a while to to be It's going to be, you know, it's going to be tough. I mean, we're not here just to make up the numbers, and we're not here to to um, start the rebuilding phase of, of New Zealand rugby either. You know, after a lot of ex experienced players going, so you know, I think we've got some experience in our side and some players that uh, haven't played. Like I said, haven't played for a while, but um, players have been playing in France and come back and can give us that experience. There was a big gap between the, the northern and southern hemisphere, and I think. Uh, the World Cup showed. I know um, we didn't get any teams into the into the, the semi-finals, but all the games are close. You know, Scotland run uh, run Australia very close, ourselves in South Africa, and um, it, it is getting getting smaller time on time. It's just the the, the experience of uh, of playing uh, the Southern Hemisphere sides regularly because they've been the the benchmark, especially New Zealand. The thing about playing the All Blacks is that you. You know, there's a physicality and an intensity and a, a pace and a level of the game that a lot of players don't don't experience. So you've got to get you've got to get up to speed pretty quickly against them. And um, so, like I said, we we're pretty happy with the game under our belt, and we've got to make sure that we correct a few things and issues that that weren't good enough against England. Um, you know, concentrate on the positives and and um, get ourselves in the right frame of mind for what's coming next week.